I, I called an hour ago. <laughs> I called last night at 7.56 p.m. Um, for the same reason. I need somebody from the township to see my apartment. Um, today, actually, how, how do I say this? Um, since May 22nd, children and youth has had custody of my son. Due to unsafe conditions in my apartment, they took him, they should have took us too. It's not stuff that I did. It was reported as stuff that I did. I did not do it. And I want somebody to go through there and see that it's not stuff that I did. Because it is now a public safety issue as um, the neighbors upstairs to see what was wrong with my ceiling. Um, there was a lock on their door and they couldn't enter their own place. So yes, this is a definite public safety issue. Okay, well, I don't know the schedule. I'm just trying to take care of a problem. I understand that, but it's not a police issue at all. You're asking for us to do a dismantling of the county issue. Do you want to go through, you know, the codes department or... Okay, this is where I was sent last night. I called the codes department and they sent me back to you. Somebody has to handle this. Okay, what, what are the regular hours? No, this is at post apartments that are next door is your, is your township. Okay. That, they're open 8 to 4, Monday eight to four. Friday. That's a business. Now, you're talking about if something was, if, you know, we're in emergency services. Okay. So it's getting to that point. It really is. Okay. Okay. All right, and I understand that, and I understand other things happen. Um, there have been kitchens that have fallen in in my complex. Okay. I understand. Okay, but that's not. You're getting yourself. You're getting yourself all upset at this. Not yeah. that it needs to be I mean, I'll show. Of course, but we're not going to go out there. There's other departments in Montgomery County that take care of code enforcement. That is code enforcement. I know. I had asked them, and they said that they can't come out here without your permission. Okay, you need to be home when they're working, so they're not going to come in after hours. Not is it Monday through Friday, eight to four jobs. Okay. So people have to go to well, I, I, I understand that part now. That's that's how it works. So the police will come out whenever you have your own the list, but they're going to do. But you're not priority. So right now they're taking care of the motorcycle accident. They had to rush to that. Right, so they're prioritized. 911 emergency call. They're answering. Okay. As soon as they, they clear up, they'll send somebody out to take a report to you. Take a look who's going on. If they feel it's deplorable, we'll it is. Code. So Officer will send an email to the Coast Department and say, hey, we need to check this place out. And then during the week, Monday through Friday, from your business hours, they will address it. I honestly don't know how the whole apartment is still open with what I found um, with what happened. We woke up to a hole in our ceiling. Um, I went to the building with a friend of mine's parents. Um, they grew up two houses down from me. Um, they knew me as a kid. They knew me before the 12 years of the hounding of CNY on me and the back and forth police stuff. I'm a very nice person who's been pushed and put through a lot and I now have a 12 year old kid upstairs who freaked out when he came home from school with a lock on his door. A padlock. He thought somebody broke in. I'd be scared if I came home. I mean, I think you were here the night I turned in the ID of the babysitter that overdosed on heroin. And they had broken into my place after I told them they couldn't stay there that night and we woke up to bloody towels on the floor and just five months before he passed away. My son found his ID the night that we heard he passed away and that's when I came here and just dropped it off. And he says, but they broke in, why didn't they trust? I don't know. And he says, well, 
he said they didn't tell my dad that they were even in here. This is 9.30 in the morning. And he says they weren't even in here. They didn't tell him until lunchtime. He got no text, no nothing. And I said, yeah, I heard about that. Because, you know, it's sad because I am a nice person. I do keep an eye on things. And, you know, I mean, I was misdiagnosed with bipolar for a very long time. I was told that I exaggerate things, lie about things, like to make drama out of stuff. And I know the stuff that gets back to me because I'm told it, that I'm, I'm the crazy woman in Pat Burrow and we're shimmering up in Moreland. Well, sadly, when people do see what I'm talking about, they find out it's true. Well, I would suggest you go over there because if they respond out and they're not there, you're going to get called back to the floor. Okay. I mean, I have a teaching degree I cannot use. Okay. Okay, see, I didn't know. I just, yeah. thank you for... But don't take a report. Like I said, they can't do much. The police department can't do much. So they can pass the information unless you possibly chose because okay. it's, it's just one of those situations that's in between. I mean, maybe the chances <coughs> excuse me, are slim of my kitchen collapsing on me. <coughs> but if it does, then it is an emergency if I'm stuck under it or my son or somebody. Well, if, it's, if, it, if, if something like that should happen, that's considered an emergency call, and then they would respond, police, fire, EMS, will respond. So... I mean, there's, there's issues of mold in there that have affected us all, um, mentally and physically. And it's... Okay, because I'll show you the, the picture. It's horrible.